Okay, folks, so let's go ahead and talk about the V-Ray Override material. This material is the coolest material ever. Uh, really, this is uh, one of the most powerful materials that I've ever seen. It's really capable of doing uh, some amazing stuff. Now, uh, let's see what exactly V-Ray mat Override material does. Now, here uh, we have this scene. I have this extra sphere here, and I have this uh, material, this chrome material. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my sphere here. And if I go ahead and render it, uh, we are going to get a very simple scene, as you can see. And uh, uh, I have added this dark material to my ground. As you can see, it's a very simple material, just a dark diffuse color. And I have added it to my ground here. And as you can see, this is what we're going to uh, see here. We got this sphere and we can uh, we see this uh, uh, double knot that we have here and the reflection of that double knot in our sphere. Now let's go ahead and talk about the V-Ray Override material. So I'm going to create the V-Ray Override material. There we go. V-Ray Bridge, V-Ray Override material. Now let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on here. Now V-Ray Override material, as you can see, we have five different slots and a few options down here. Uh, the nice thing about V-Ray Override material is you can define a base material, which will be seen by V-Ray while rendering. You can define a material to be used as GI, so instead of the base material, you can uh, tell V-Ray that while you are calculating GI, instead of using the base material for this object, use the material that I put in this slot and calculate that as my GI material. You can have a reflection material. You can have a reflection material and uh, this way, uh, instead of seeing the base material in the reflections of other objects, the material that you define here will be seen as the material of this object in the other in the reflections, uh, uh, in the reflections on our other objects. So let's uh, go ahead and do a practical example and see how exactly this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and create uh, three simple materials. So I'm going to go ahead and create a very advanced material. I'm going to use this maybe orange color as my base material and I'm going to go ahead and just enable this specular and maybe we can go ahead and increase the reflection to something like maybe two. I'm going to create a copy, a copy and the second one I'm just going to change the diffuse color to maybe this blue this time and I'm going to just make it a bit more saturated and brighter and the, for the first let's go th for the third for the third material I'm gonna go ahead and maybe use this green color now we have these three materials uh, and the same thing is actually for the refraction and the, for the shadows if you uh, add a material to the refraction when this material when this object is seen in other uh, materials or in other objects refraction uh, the, uh, the, they see the material that you defined here instead of the base material and also for the shadows if you put a material here the shadows will be uh, if you for example have some uh, colorful shadows based on the transparency and stuff like that the material will be uh, that will be used is the material that you define here instead of the base material now let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and use this material this orange material as our base material I'm going to use the second material as my GI material and I'm going to use this third one, this green one, as my reflection material. And then I'm going to apply my V-Ray Override material to my uh, not or my this abstract 3D object that we have here. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a render and see what's going to happen. Okay, so the render is finished and as you can see, the base color is orange, but the reflection of this object in this sphere is actually not orange but green the color that we have here in our uh, reflection slot reflection material now we can see the GI material uh, the uh, effect that GI has so I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and apply a V-Ray compositing tag to my knot here and in the surface properties tab generate GI is set to 1. I'm going to go ahead and put this to something like 6 and this way we have increased basically the amount of GI contribution that this knot has in our scene. So uh, now that I've increased this value to 6, I'm going to go ahead and render again and see what's going to happen. Okay, looks like 6 is too much. Let's go ahead and decrease this value. Uh, I think the material, the saturation of the material is too high, that's why 
Uh, let's go ahead and maybe to something like two. I'm gonna just go ahead and render this part and see how the GI effect, yeah, you can see now it's much more better. Let's go ahead and render the thing and see how that's gonna work. Okay, folks, as you can see, the render is finished. And uh, this is the power of this material. The base material is orange, the reflection material is green, and the material that will the GI will see is blue. You can see here, this is the GI contribution of our material. And this green part that you can see there, uh, here is basically because we have uh, changed the material for our reflection to be green, and this object basically reflects itself. That's why this is the uh, this green part of the reflection instead of orange. They are uh, green and that's why it's happened. So as you can see the very overall material is definitely a very very powerful uh, material and uh, you can create whatever you want using this powerful material.